Hey everybody, Ray here. I've added to my tool collection, I bought myself a DeWalt 735 thickness planer. I bought the unit and also bought the infeed and outfeed tables that you can get for it. And I also bought the cart that fits this planer just perfectly. Now this video is not really about the planer itself. There are a lot of videos and reviews out there about this 735 DeWalt planer. What I'm going to talk about specifically is dust collection. And I'm going to show you how I came up with this and also a mistake that I made trying to use my shop vac that didn't go very well. So stick with me here. I think you'll find this interesting. So the mistake I made was reading the instructions and paying no attention to the fact that they specifically said you should not connect this unit up to a shop vac because the blower in this unit is just too powerful and will overwhelm the shop vac. Well, you know, I thought to myself, I've got this uh, cyclone dust stopper on my shop vac and I've got a six horse shop vac with a two inch hose and I thought, you know what, I'll bet it'll handle it just fine. Oh boy, was I wrong. The blower in this unit is so powerful that it actually blew dust and debris out around the top of the cyclone collector here. I just made a big mess. So when it says don't use your shop vac, I think that's good advice. Now when I went over to Rockler to pick up this thickness planer, unfortunately they were out of stock on the stand that I wanted with it. So I had to wait about 10 days for it to get back in stock. Well, meantime, I did a lot of YouTube searching and looked at all kinds of different methods that people were using for dust collection. Because if you don't have dust collection on this thing, it is just going to create a mess in your shop. Well, I found that most people had something that looked way too complicated and it didn't work 100%. On my return trip over to Rockler, talking to one of the guys over there, he showed me the setup that they have, which is basically exactly what I copied on my setup here. And it works just great. I'm going to take you through the components that you need to set this up, and then I'm going to give you an example of how it works. Now you only need six components to put together this dust collection system. The port coming out of the thickness planer has both a four inch and a two and a half inch outlet. In my case, I use the two and a half inch. And then you're going to need a two and a half inch hose, two band clamps to connect that hose to the outlet, and then to the Rockler converter here, the dust right converter. And what that converter does is it converts from the two and a half inch to a four inch. The next thing you're going to need is a clamp, one of those band clamps for the four inch outlet and a dust collection bag. Those are the six things you need. It really couldn't be simpler. So the dust comes out of the four inch outlet here into this dust collection bag. And as I said, the dust collection bag that comes with the Rockler system wasn't in stock, the dust right bag. So uh, I didn't want to have to wait to play with my new toy. You know how that goes. So I jumped on Amazon and I bought this bag by PowerTech. Now this PowerTech bag is about the same size as the dust right bag from Rockler and um, it filters down to three microns. I believe that the dust right bag filtered down to five microns, so they're pretty close. Um, what this bag doesn't have is it doesn't have a zipper in the bottom to empty out the dust. You can only empty it out of this uh, five inch opening at the top of the bag, which may be kind of a pain. The other thing that it doesn't have is it doesn't have that clear strip down here that allows you to look in and see how full your bag is getting. Um, Cost-wise, though, this bag was under $28, and the Dust Right bag at Rockler, I think, is $78. So, considerably cheaper. Is it as good? Will it last as long? I don't know. We'll find out. But, let's move on, and I'll give you a little sample of how this works, and I think it works pretty well. Now, I have the planer completely cleaned up, so you should see any dust or anything that accumulates. And I'll try running a 2x4 through here a couple of times so you get a sense of what it looks like.
So here's what the back looks like after running that 2x4 through there a few times. And you can see that there's virtually nothing, no dust at all that's collected on the back there. Now on the input side, there is a little bit of dust, but clearly not very much. Certainly nothing that would be very hard to clean up. I mean, that's, that's about it. And looking down inside, there is very little inside as well. Now here's the floor in front of the planer, and you can see that there's, there's a little bit of dust, but it's so minute that you can hardly even see it. Well, that's really it. It was a really simple system to put together, and I think it works just great. I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you've got some comments about dust collecting and what I've done here and what you would do differently, please leave them in the comment section below. Hey, if this video was helpful, don't forget, hit that thumbs up for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.